she was always there for me when I had my kids and they were sick and she was always there to babysit and she was still quite young in her late 50s so I had great backup with my two children and um, then she got um, a bout of um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and I remember getting a terrible fright when I heard that. I was away for a weekend and when she got the news that she had it and I think I cried for the whole weekend. And um, then it suddenly made me realise that she is getting on and um, yeah, just brought it home to me that times are changing. And uh, so now we live together. She lives downstairs and I live upstairs and I help look after her and cook her food. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just nice that... Um, Last domino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Better late than never. <laughs> She's part of my life still, uh, with my kids living in the same house, and she, it's nice. like continuation of my childhood, really. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>